This may be your brain on drugs, but what actually happens in the mind of someone addicted to drugs? It all starts with the brain, specifically something called the reward center. One of the brain's goals is to keep our physical bodies alive and reproducing. So when we do something good for our survival, like eating delicious food or having sex, our brains produce chemicals that make us feel good. These chemicals are called neurotransmitters, and they're basically the way our brain and body communicate with each other. The brain produces hundreds of neurotransmitters, but when it comes to addiction, the most important one is called dopamine. Dopamine makes us feel good, so we want to do that thing again and again. Basically, our brain is training us like we'd train a new puppy. But learning doesn't always go the way it's supposed to. Substances like heroin or other addictive drugs are the jackpot of the dopamine world. Not only do they produce more dopamine than other activities, they make your brain think that the reward is even better than you remembered. So just like that puppy who wants to sit and get a tasty treat, you want to do more drugs to get that good feeling. Over time, drug use can also change other parts of the brain. Some connections, like the ones related to impulsive behavior and emotional responses, get stronger, and others, like those used in decision-making, get weaker. Those changes can also cause physical dependencies. If you've ever gotten a headache from giving up your morning coffee, you've had a minor experience of what it's like to go through withdrawal. Withdrawing from more serious drugs like alcohol or heroin can cause breathing problems, irregular heart rate, and seizures. Of course, everyone reacts to different drugs in different ways. Lots of people binge drink in college, but most of them won't become alcoholics, and scientists are still trying to figure out why. For all the research that's been done, much of the brain remains a mystery.